Hello, welcome to Leave It on the Table. I'm Chef Marcus Burek with Culinary Creations Catering. I'm here with Josh Long. He's going to learn a little bit about cooking today. Today we are going to do a couple different things that are fun and easy and fresh. So we're going to start today with a little bit of a macadamia crusted shrimp that's going to go with a chili lime reduction. Uh, also with that we're going to do a little play on a sushi dish. It's going to be a cream cheese uh, wasabi with a little bit of a sesame crust serve with a rice cracker. What I was thinking today is that we're going to do things that are real nice, real fun. I'm going to do some shrimp today from a local farmer's market. I'm going to be telling you while we're cooking of some of the ways to check your produce, check your shrimp, um, check meats and things and make sure they're fresh. So um, that being said, let's get things started. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to put it in a uh, three breader. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just use the juice that's on the shrimp already, bread those, um, and what I've done is I made a macadamia crust. What I did is I took macadamias, um, I toasted them, I put them in a Cuisinart, and I put panko breadcrumbs and a little bit of brown sugar in that bread. So you have a little bit of a nutty and a sweet Beautiful. to that. And then um, what we're going to do is pan sear those. So I want to get this good and hot. Um, we'll finish breading these. And this I'm doing because I'm thinking if you have just a quick party, let's say you just got home from work, you uh, you had some friends that are saying, hey, listen, you know, I might come over, talk, you know, something besides hour. work. Yeah, exactly. Like sit in a happy hour and have a little bit of fun. Something you could make really, really quick, look pretty cool doing it. Um, you can buy these things, you know, of course, the day before. And, um, you know, uh, you could, uh, I, the way I picture it, the way I usually do it, I'll have friends, we'll sit around my own kitchen and, uh, you know, do some cooking, have some glasses of wine. And uh, have a good time with that. So, what I'm going to do is just put these in here. What do you think the key to cooking shrimp is? Uh, how, how do you know when it's done and everything like that? Well, usually um, when it's in a crust like this, yeah. you can't really see the color, but it usually is with the color. Um, with shrimp, I like to leave it on about three minutes per side. Mm -hmm. I do not like to overcook shrimp, as I'm sure no one does. I think. Presentation is 75% of it. People eat with their eyes first. They're gonna come up, they're gonna see something that looks delicious and they're gonna eat it. <laughs> now, if you can get the presentation there and get the taste, yeah. that's wonderful. So, what I'm gonna do is uh, a little bit of sriracha here. One, for decoration, and two, for spice. So here we're gonna take our chili lime sauce. What I've done is taking fresh chilies, mm -hmm. um, lime, a little bit of a stock, a little bit of a uh, seafood stock, reduce that down, add a little bit of butter to it, a little sweet and sour sauce, really, really simple to do. Um, let's, let's say I'm a, I'm a novice because I am, and maybe some people watching will be. Uh -huh. what, explain in just a few words what reduction means. Reduction means to take a liquid, mm -hmm. or you know, it could be balsamic vinegar, it could be anything, um, and reduce it down until it is a consistency, which in French term is nappe, mm -hmm. uh, but it's a, it's a thick sauce consistency of this, this kind of consistency where it's not going to really run. It's almost a little syrupy. Um, but you can make a reduction pretty much any way you want. Mm -hmm. What I'm going to do is just kind of drain these a little bit. Is that just to get rid of the just excess grease and stuff? Yeah, just a little excess grease. I like that the presentation you got there. It's like every other uh, there we go. sauce. So something just that simple, that easy, but I mean, tell me that doesn't look that awesome. Looks, that looks delicious. It looks delicious. Oh man, yeah. And we were only talking about a, a matter of a couple minutes. A couple minutes. So there you go. Let's dig in. Let's see how it tastes. Yeah, let's do that. Let's give it the, the old crack. Oh man, that is ridiculous. You know those? You're right, you're getting nutty, you're getting sweet. Yeah, and then you have the chili lime sauce right there. Gives a little bit of hint of spice. Mm. If you want to get real bold and crazy, you just dip a little sriracha in there. And uh, so that's your first step. Boom, you put that out, people eat. Yeah. This one, I actually got from my wife. Extremely simple. You take some cream cheese, cut it in half. Here you have a wasabi powder. We're just going to, uh, I'm going to just put a little water in there. All right, all you do is just take this, put it on there, put your cream cheese on top, 
And then you're going to take some sesame. Wow, that already looks thoughtful in a couple seconds. Yeah. <laughs> Usually you just one little press so they stay on there. Soy sauce. A little soy sauce right over it. And of course, I made a little bit of a uh, basil oil here. Just a couple little drops all over there because I just like that flavor infusing that a little bit. Is that just olive oil and basil? It's uh, Yeah, I take uh, olive oil, basil, I put it in a blender okay. and I just hit puree sure. and let it go. shocked at how how fast you were able to do that and with this just and with this just alike how many different flavors that you actually taste yeah. is something that simple like if I took these two home I saw you make them in like five minutes I took yeah. these two home to my wife she would be like okay so how'd you mop your head and yeah. you know, <laughs> exactly, you know I mean? exactly. Yeah. that's what we came up with today so it's a macadamia encrusted shrimp with a chili lime reduction we have a uh, sesame cream cheese and wasabi spread with uh, rice crackers with a little bit of soy on top and a little bit of basil oil and that's it. I mean those are two good things that you could have a couple glasses of wine with friends. Mm -hmm. Don't make them big because your friends will stay forever. <laughs> so <laughs> keep them that big. <laughs> Just keep them real small. Don't impress them too much. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. perfect. So you're gonna all these recipes are gonna be on the site. They're gonna be yep, right I'll there. Yeah, I'll put them on the site things. so anybody can check them out and um, you know take a look at the rest of the site and um, you know we have a lot of stuff on there. So mm -hmm. it's. Uh, all the different things we're doing around town, and now we're you know going to farmers markets and things like that. So we have a lot of fun things in store, and uh, you know we're going to have more and more shows coming up. So it'll, it'll be a really good time. So so thank you very much for tuning in, and uh, this is on the table with Chef Marcus Burek. I appreciate it. We'll see you soon.